Hello all. Today we are going to learn how to create service entry sheet with respect to purchase order. Basically, service entry sheet is created for the service verification of the work done by the vendor with respect to purchase order, right? So, in the procurement of the services, first we raise the purchase order to the vendor then with respect to purchase order vendor has supplied the services and now we are verifying the services by creating service entry sheet okay so mandatory condition for the creation of the service entry sheet is your purchase order should be in release mode should be approved okay so we are doing the activity step by step you can see here for the creation of the service entry sheet ml81 transaction code is important ml81 n okay and here you need to click on other purchase order okay and we have a purchase order number is this now click on this create button okay and fill the short text service for installation of reactors the fill the period of the work done or period of the services provided by the vendor okay from date to to date and in long text you can maintain the history or the detail of the work done provided by the vendor okay click on the service selection button and adopt the services okay adopt the services select the required service line okay and click on the services button click on the services button okay now click on the save button a service entry sheet number will generate right service entry sheet number one six times zero four eight two generated now if you want to do any changes then you can open the service entry sheet number in ML81N and go in the change display mode. Okay, go in the change display mode. For example, you want to change the service name. And for if you want to release, then click on the green flag and with appropriate code and save. Now service entry sheet has been released, has been approved. Once a service entry sheet has been released, a corresponding GRIR document has been posted. Okay. And you can check the same in the purchase order, history in the purchase order. You can open the purchase order in ME23N. We have created the service entry sheet with respect to 20 line item of the purchase order. And here, see, this is the service entry sheet amount 1200, right? Now, how to do changes, okay? Click on the other purchase order, okay? And here you need to fill the service entry sheet number, okay? Go in the change display mode, okay? If you want to delete this service entry sheet or do any changes, you can click on the reverse arrow fill the code and click on the save button your service entry sheet will revoke or it is in unapproved mode right now you can do any changes delete your service entry sheet okay see no acceptance once release it's in accepted we have click on the delete icon service entry sheet is in deleted okay okay it's a save the effect of the deletion of the service entry sheet in the purchase order history is amount becomes zero. Previously, we have a 1200 amount with respect to service line, service entry sheet in the purchase order history. Now, this amount is zero, right? So, this is the way how you can change the ML85. In ML85, you can uh, collective release service entry sheet, multiple release of service entry sheet. In ML85, you can uh, release multiple service entry sheet 
for example we select this service entry sheet and click on this with appropriate code we click on this service entry sheet click on the code and click on the green flag right so ml85 t code is also a very important record okay how can you print the service entry sheet you can pin the service entry sheet in using ml83 how can you check the multiple service entry sheet with respect to single purchase order the transaction code is ml84 okay so what we have learned we have created service entry sheet using ml81 n okay we can simultaneously approve the service entry sheet in the ml81 n cmt code we can revoke and delete the service entry sheet in the same transaction code ml81 n we have a transaction code ml85 for the multiple release of the service entry sheet okay so we how can we approve the service entry sheet using ml83 so these are the multiple transaction code for the handling of the service entry sheet okay hope you like this tutorial to how to create the service entry sheet okay so thank you for watching this sap tutorial okay if you think this is useful tutorial for you then please press a like button and do not forget to subscribe our youtube channel erp sap team for our latest video updates thank you have a nice day and don't forget to share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends because knowledge sharing is very important once you share the no this knowledge with your colleagues and company people they will boost up with this knowledge okay Thank you. Have a good day.